ladies and gentlemen, Eric Woolworth on the pole, Adam Lytle, Dave Spanfelder, Brian Galetta, Joseph Serino, Chris Stevens, Matt Stevens, and Melissa Stevens wrap up the field. Melissa will get her points in and pull off. Anyone actually can do that. We won't even charge someone for doing that. But weight flag from Wesley. Eric wanted to jump the gun a little bit. Stepped down a little bit. Eric is in the Raven Tavern, 88. Lytle in his own 33C. Van Falconer usually is in his DS Humphreys cart, but he is in Brian Galetta's backup, number 28. Brian is in his number 28. Joe, Matt, uh, Chris, and Melissa in Galetta's greenhouse house carts. Here come, they come off the start. There, gets the start. Good start, and uh, Brian. Tried to go low, ooh, some tires clashing together. Brian bunched them up a little bit by going low and then putting out high. Brian trying to make some moves, he's got a fast car. Eric pulling away from Adam here. Chris in the middle of his greenhouse number two. First time he's been in that in a long time. It used to be his main cart back in the 80s, or I mean the 90s, excuse me, it feels like 80s. Eric is really pushing hard in that turn. He slams on the gas. He probably doesn't need to get on it that much in the turn one, but he does it. That was a little better turn. Oh, Brian in to Adam, and that bunched up Dave as well. Brian has taken a liking of the move that many have called the kamikaze or the bonsai as it's called. Eric looking down at his drive system. Must be hearing something he doesn't like back there. Adam, Brian, and Dave. Rounding up the top four. Ooh, and in pulls, wow, in pulls Eric. Ogre brings the caution. He actually really, truly didn't need to bring out the caution there. Could have got that. Oh, Eric did run out of running out of room when he pulled in, but everyone got by safely. Now Adam Lytle in the lead. Adam and Eric have not won features. Oh, look at Brian here, bobbing and weaving. Now Dave trying to take his spot, but Brian. Ooh. There's that metal playing and Brian just barely sweeps up. That is the kind of guy's move. It's a risky one. It's recommended to really not try it unless you don't. For sure aren't going to hit the guy in the right way. Very good. Yeah, some drivers don't drive anymore because they get scared and shit goes really wrong. The kind of guy's a fool. Racing cars are lower center gravity than us, but we need a little clearance for our back here. Look at, there's that man. He's got a really good start on that restart, and they both flew by Adam and Joe. Oh, oh, Joe! Joe Serino puts Dave into the woods. Dave from second to last. No time. Chris and Matt Martin now. Their cousin Brian, who is last year is a tremendous year. His prior, uh, the weather's 
experience has been very, very average. But in the last year, he has turned off to really about nine, about thirteen. Really turned things up. Prior to that, his only claim to fame was uh, doing really good in the 2003 Classic. Time trial on the pole and leading ten laps for five rows. Successful pass by all the competitors going along with his body. Got a little hairy dog. It didn't make up that down. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Joe was able to get through. And now he's with the leader. Joe was able to get by. <laughs> was able to get by Adam. And now he's just going to be the leader. He's going to be number five. He's going to be fast. Either that or he got out of it. Might have got out of that. Right now. Close the end. Uh, I got that. He didn't get out of that. Right but he's in danger of doing it now. And Ryan shows him a wheel. He's turning up as soon as Ryan has caught him. It's on the open, he pulls away from Chris and Matt. That's very impressive. Not to get very well. Matter of fact, he's the only time he's ever really seen it. Back in the day when the outlaws made the track with their heavily modified 6.5 horsepower, so no one could go with that. That can sometimes get run for the mind. There's a lot of horsepower. Division. All of this goes down. 
Look at this now. Batman Chris has a lot. Brian. Chris does a big Joe goes and like dive bomb flake shot out of two, but doesn't get enough bite. Showing Brian a wheel again. Grant stand right there waiting for something to make him slip with him with him off. He does a nice little bend and match to the slick shot coming out of two. No one else can come to that full burn in two like that. Brian a little
part lengths are a different size, and when they class at the same time like that, it's uh, hard to call. Brian a little upset as Chris Stevens went to the first It's the first win under his belt for 2013. Excellent race, though. For only, uh, I believe, only seven or eight competitors we had out there. Tremendous race. How about let's look at that finish again from where you saw Eric go up to the start finish line. Let's look at that one. There he is again there from Eric's vantage point right now. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 18th annual season opener at Goada's Greenhouse Karting Speedway. June 5th, 2013. We started this thing back in the early 1990s. Everyone bowing down on some pizza. All these guys have been chomping a bit. <laughs> no, no. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, everyone, you gotta hold up the race. I got a weed eat here. I almost had snow blow. Wesley James Troger Stevens is starting them off, ladies and gentlemen. First heat of 2013. Eric Woolworth on the pole in his Raven number 88. Dave Span Faulkner in the DS Humphreys 54. Joseph Serino. And the Gladys Greenhouse number five, and Matt Stevens in the Gladys Greenhouse number 33. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First heat of the 2003 season. Eric Walworth in the lead with the Raven Tavern House number 88. Dave Spanfelder. Greenhouse number five. Matt took a pass attempt on Joe. Joe holding them off. Aaron. He was good in that cart. The former Larry Phillips cart. Also the former Kenny Lindsley machine. And backup Billy Ruggio cart. He is driving it better than anyone right, right now. Hard into one.
doing it. <laughs> In the Gladys Greenhouse, number five. Joseph, who has been, had an obsession with mouth pumping all off season, and who is having a baby with his wife, as is Melissa. White flag from starter Wesley Green. Jonas Hughes takes a dive bomb down while sticks, but does not stick enough. Overpowers them into three. Checker flag for Eric. Forward. Chase Manfelder. Oh, and man got Joseph at the line. No mouth pumping for Joseph today. That is the end of the first heat. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second heat. Joseph has to get his truck out of the way for the view. Adam Lytle will start on the pole in the Lytle Racing 33C, the former Gary Miller 24. Big, bad, perm, Brian Galletta in the Brian Galletta Racing number 13. Joseph, the mouth humping Popeye Sereno. Getting his truck out of camera view. It's filthy, that's why I had to be removed. Resuming the starting lineup Chris Stevens and Pressure.com, Gladys Greenhouse, number eight. shot and Chris then gets him out on the outside and uh, caution comes out for Chris Stevens chain pop number eight we'll get it. good uh, HD view of the chain had fallen up Eric Woolworth uh, checking it out as well that will need I know a lot of Carter's We'll try to put the chain back on and continue, but it usually comes off for a reason. Memory up and just pops off with a rock or something. Most time it's a, a bend or something. It's a good idea to park it if you don't want to spend the time out to fix it. Chris then hops into the Gladys Greenhouse number four. Look at this, Brian and Chris both pass it up right down the front stretch and side outside. Chris has to slam on the brakes and then slam into Brian. That enabled Brian to take the lead and the quick outside groove. Brian now working. Pull away in his mighty fast number 13. Chris is staying right with him at number four. Vital keeping up. Doesn't have as fresh of a motor as Brian and Chris. Chris looking under. Brian got a good run, but not quite pulled out. Chris trying to dive bomb low. Hop back up high. Number four is a fast car, too. I he doesn't think he's fast. As is eight. Chris looks back. Cow. Chris has to bring up the caution, pull off the track. He did not like what he heard. Chris looks up at Matt, thinking the worst, looking over. There's no holes on the Gladys Greenhouse number four's power plant, but it's confirmed that there was some in, an internal break. Uh, I think the oil 
the oil splasher on the billet rod come loose and cause some internal damage and also build the motor. And off the internal damage to park that motor, number four will be out in a few weeks until we can get a new motor slapped on it. For now, Chris will not finish the heat. As usual, in the heat, ladies and gentlemen, we do have car switches and heats are in features. We usually don't do them in heat. Breaking heat is just bonus points. So, you break the heat, you should sit out and try to get a car ready for the feature. Chris did hop into his backup because it was the first race of the year, but normally you should just park it. You want to use timeouts or part switches to save them for features. And with timeouts, each driver has only three per year. Most drivers want to save before the classic. That's the big point earner. White flag Brian Gloves has been away with this thing ever since uh, Chris uh, broke. Drop night for Chris so far. Lost the change on the eight and a motor on the four. Brian has been a man on a mission since building that number 13 late last year in time for the classic. Nice looking car. Metal parks it now to the feature.